the seven best things that I love about my Royal Enfield Meteor. The Magnificent Seven. If you are thinking of buying a Royal Enfield Meteor, this video is a must. And if you already own a Royal Enfield Meteor, do you agree with me? Please comment and share your experience. So let's get this journey kicked off with number 7. And this is the heel toe shifter. A bit like Marmite, you either love it or hate it. Some people hate it so much in fact that they cut it off. Are they missing out? I will be the first to admit that this was a deciding factor when I first purchased the bike. I personally didn't like it and didn't like the idea at all. It nearly stopped me from buying the bike. However, here we are, over two years later, and it's made number seven on my best things that I love about the Royal Enfield Meteor 350. It's a fantastic idea once you get used to it. It's so easy and it saves wear and tear on your boots, on your shoes also. So give it a go guys, it's a lot better than you realize. So good in fact, that if and when I ever upgrade to the Meteor 650, I will have to put it on because it doesn't come as standard. On this day, I persuaded the wife to go with me. And here we are traveling up a very steep hill using that heel toe shifter a lot. Traveling to the mountains of Maysai district. As always, the bike coped very well. And now it's time for a coffee and lunch break with fantastic views to contemplate number six. After a short break and a human fuel stop, we have arrived at number six. The stunning good looks. The seat and the tank make a perfect hourglass figure. The Meteor is a beautiful, well-crafted bike, thanks to the Royal Enfield team. And the guy who created the tank shape in clay deserves a medal. Cruiser style looks and perfect handling at such a low price. The perfect bike for me. And let's face it, the Meteor is here for years to come. That's why Royal Enfield have just released new colours for the 2024 market. Which leads us on to number five. And number five is just something as simple as a center stand. Surprisingly, it doesn't come standard with many motorcycles, including the new Triumph 400 Scrambler. To me, a center stand is an essential piece of equipment to help with wheel cleaning, chain lubrication, and just general maintenance of the bike. And it turns your bike into a useful, comfortable seat when you need one. Which leads us into number four, the comfort. Compared to my previous motorbikes that I've owned in Thailand, I find the seat on the Meteor the most comfortable of all. My Honda CRF 250 gave me a numb bum after just 30 minutes. My CBX 500X after one hour. And my Honda Rebel 500 the same. Whereas I can ride the Meteor 
for three hours before I feel the need for a rest. The riding position also is superb. No dead arms like I experienced on the Rebel. And the cruiser riding position is more of an upright position, making it comfortable for the back and the legs. And now the top three. Coming in at number three, the headlight. The headlight on this bike is just amazing and probably the best headlight I've had on any motorcycle that I've owned. Including my once owned Honda CB500X with all its extra LED lights it was still not as good as the single Meteor headlight. Low beam, high beam, low beam, high beam, no beam. It's better than my car headlights, believe it or not. I've never had a bike with such a good headlight. Amazing. And at number two, the economy. The maximum fuel tank capacity on the Meteor is 15 litres. I fill up here in Thailand for 320 baht and can achieve 320 kilometers. So one baht per kilometer, which is very economical. And this works out at just over 2.3 pence per kilometer in English money. Figures are coming in at, on average, between 70 and 90 miles per gallon. Average, about 78.5 miles per gallon some people in economy mode are achieving 100 miles per gallon and now the moment you've been waiting for number one the handling the handling of this bike is unbelievable so deservedly it comes in at number one the bike is so lightweight and so nimble and it corners like a dream i look forward to and enjoy every corner on this bike unlike my Honda CB500X where I dreaded every corner hence why I didn't keep that bike for very long on wet roads I'm not scared of opening up unlike more powerful bikes one advantage of a less powerful bike but still powerful enough to leave everyone standing at the traffic lights And there we have it, the seven best things that I love about the Royal Enfield Meteor 350. The handling, the economy, the headlight, the comfort, the center stand, the looks, and the heel shifter. Please comment guys, let me know what you think. And look forward to the next video, which is going to be how I keep my Meteor cleaned and serviced. Because, as you may agree, for a bike that's over two years old, she looks like brand new. Until next time, ride safe.